Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We review anything and everything. And today we are getting into a foam sword. Now, obviously you can tell the likeness of the sword and what it comes from, which is obviously Thundercats. It doesn't have the emblem on it, the symbol, because this is a product that's made from somebody who doesn't have the licensing for Thundercats. So I'm going to put the link in the description down below, affiliated Amazon link where you can purchase this. The name of the sword on Amazon was Thunder of the Cat Foam Sword. So obviously, you know, in that point, it is um, something that, you know, they don't have the copyrights for to actually brand it Thundercats. But throughout this video, we're just going to call it the uh, Thundercat Sword or the Sword of Omens. Now, with this... Like I said, it doesn't come with the emblem on it, but someone who purchases this can feel free to just throw that on if they wanted to. Um, yes, if they wanted to. I'm sorry, I just want to turn on my lights a little bit. Uh, if they want to, they could put that on there. But as far as the quality and the way it feels, it actually feels really good. So I purchased this for my children to uh, play with. Um, you know, you run around there at the time they're watching Thundercats. Um, so I wanted them to be able to have swords, a sword to play with. And I bought additional sword, which I'm going to review afterwards. Uh, that one is actually not Thundercats related, but we'll get into that after this. And um, on a separate video. But so I purchased this and it feels very nice and solid. The handle feels solid, even though it's all foam. It's a very thick, strong foam. So you can see even when you have it, it doesn't wiggle all that much. So, of course, if you're using it like this. It also doesn't really wiggle that much. You can hit it against things. If you hit it on another person, it can hurt if you hit it too hard, but very little kids shouldn't have the strength to really hit it that hard. Well, I made sure my kids weren't hitting each other, but just clashing their swords. You could see here at the tip that the, um, it would start, you know, as they kind of poke at things, it would start to kind of wear the painting on the top. So just be mindful of that. Um, but nonetheless, it's very fun. Um, so this sword at the time when I purchased it ran for about $25. I recently just checked back on the link and right now they don't have it up for sale anymore. Though the link is still there. Maybe it just ran out for the moment. I will try to connect other similar links for available swords of this likeness, foam swords. But it's definitely something that uh, we've had a lot of fun using and playing with. It's very good quality. I definitely recommend it. Um, obviously, more so than, you know, if you were looking for, like, say, a hard plastic sword, you know, things like that could actually become uh, possibly dangerous, maybe not. But then also, too, sometimes hard plastic has a higher tendency of breaking, especially if it's hit against things very hard, where this clearly won't because it's foam. So, yes. Um, so I definitely recommend it. Link's going to be in the description. As always, you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.